Welcome back to this week's episode of Casual Adult Coffee. As always, I'm Alicia and... I'm Corey. This week we are going to be talking about gender roles. Gender roles and equalities and inequalities. So I am a new stay-at-home mom after two and a half years of our cameraman being a stay-at-home dad. Mm. He's returned to work. Um, so I've got a little bit of insight about... Swapping, roles. swapping gender roles. <laughs> maybe, maybe a different. Ep- actually, I know we're scheduled to do that episode. <laughs> the, I think, <clears throat> like you see all those comments about, like uh, a woman is as good as a man, or, uh, or men get prejudiced against, and these comments about how. Uh, we, we're focusing on. We're focusing on the past and not moving forward. Yes. My role is not to be barefoot and pregnant in the, the house. Well, and, and exactly like we were saying before before shooting is that how many how many men do you know would actively stand up and say, Woman's place is in the house and put her put their foot down and say, Nope, she's barefoot and pregnant all the time and that's the end of the discussion. I don't know any like that for my husband and I personally right now it's simply because he's working out of town Um, daycare is just way too expensive my daughter has a speech delay so we have her in a special daycare or not Mm -hmm. daycare sorry in a special preschool Um, so for us to try and get her to preschool get my son to school it's easier right now for me to be at home with them but once um, we get all of that sorted out, I will be returning to work. Well, and that's like you said, <coughs> how, when's the last, I mean, how many people do you know? And we discussed this is the number is like less than one, less than one out of a hundred. I would be willing to bet. How many single income families do we really know? Very few. Most of my peers um, are double income families, whether they're working full time or part time. Um, and most of my peers or most of my friends are moms. Yeah. And that's, that's just it. And the thing I always find it funny, of course, there's jokes around the jokes around the internet and meme groups and things about how like, uh, the sexist comments and everything like that. And I'm, I have been <laughs> known to make the occasional sexist remark, but it's on purpose. And I know that a woman's role is whatever she chooses it to be. I have a daughter and I never want her to feel second rate just because she's a woman. <coughs> even when out a little wrong. Um, I understand but, what you're meaning. That even when I was working, I always ended up in a very male-dominated field. Mm-hmm. Um, previously, I was doing car sales, and that's how you and I met. Right. And you it's, can attest to the fact that it's pretty good. You were good at your job, and then at the same time, I have to admit from a guy's perspective that because you're a woman a handful of the people that worked with you would never say it to you no they would say it behind your back and say i don't trust her or not that they don't trust her but they just don't think as highly of you because you're a woman on the sales yeah and it made it also very hard in some instances for me to get ahead in my career because it was a very male dominated field yeah and the nice part about one of the best parts about you is that you weren't one of these women who just goes, this is where I will settle and I will blame my lack of success on the fact that I'm a woman. You mm-hmm. actually put your, you kind of clenched your fists and said, I'm going to make this and I'm going to do the best I can. And then that's, I think, the a nice part is that you're not making it a gender issue. You're making it a performance issue. If you were... And this should apply to any, any real job. Like we were joking around and I said, if I, if my house was on fire and the fire, fire truck showed up and then they asked me hypothetically, would you like an average woman or an average man to save your life? I guarantee I pick an average man. Not because I'm like, oh, I just don't trust a woman to do the job right. Because <coughs> physically in that role, I expect a man to do better. Alternatively, when my mom was in the hospital, I expected the nurse to be a woman. And maybe it's just 
traditional thoughts. I don't think, there's my hand again. <laughs> it's, I think, like we were saying, times are changing, but it's not going to happen tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, no. But my experience is that it's somebody who, a female who has decided to become a firefighter, has, like myself, decided that I'm not going to make this a gender issue. I'm going to prove that I'm going to be the best that I can be, and I'm going to outperform the, the others in this field. And that, that said, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're a tall woman, you're 5'10", and you're not a little tiny shrinking violet. If a 5'10 man and a 5'10 you came to pick me up, I wouldn't, it would, whoever grabs me first, hallelujah. But admittedly, you're above, physically above the average of a woman. Right, no, but what I'm saying is that if a five foot three woman has passed the um, physical requirements for the job of um, any of our first responders, obviously right. they are physically able to do this job. And that's, that's actually should be bar none for almost any job. Yeah, if you're a five foot three. Physical requirements. Yes. Like if, if, uh, if a woman is a, <coughs> is a fighter pilot, good for her. If a woman is a, if she's demonstrated, if any, like take the she out of that equation, because there shouldn't be a he or she. It yes. should be any individual. Yeah. And like. And that goes for nursing as well. Any if you job. have shown that you have the compassion to do it, um, my nephew was in the NICU for mm. an extended period of time. And the nursing staff there was predominantly female, but there was a couple of male nurses in there mm -hmm. that were the best nurses that I have ever seen. So I find when somebody goes into yeah, a <laughs> when somebody goes into a profession that is outside of the gender role, they tend to excel at it well, and because I think, they have the passion for it. Well, that and because. Like we were saying on the sales floor with you, you have, let's go with something to prove. So you have, and at the same time, you're right. They pick this role because they're passionate about it. And, but because they're also countering every fear or every thought that's already there, and every, then it makes more of an obvious example. And there's some discrimination that they have to rise above. Mm -hmm. It's, well, and that's. And I did plumbing sales. And this was 2000 early. Yeah. And I can remember um, coming down to the, the sales floor after being paged and someone saying to me, oh, I like paged a salesman. And I'm like, well, can I help you? And they side eyed me. All they wanted was a toilet paper holder. They didn't even need technical information. And you were still experiencing that. Hold on. You mean a woman can tell me what plumbing to buy? This is great. I know. I, I could tell you the insides of a toilet. <laughs> not really something I need to know. <laughs> that's and that's the jokes we were saying. Like uh, the for the most part, I don't. The guys I know, if they come home and like uh, they do the job, it's. I mean, of course, men will. I think historically, men have been used to sitting still bringing home the bacon, shall we say, and it's, like we say, traditionally a woman is there to support the household. So, I mean, you will get, and maybe that's child upbringing and everything all the way up to adulthood has made you feel like you're going to be that way, but I live alone, so, I mean, I do dishes, but when I go to, actually, my uh, ex-girlfriend, when we had dinner at her place, I would wash the dishes afterwards. She was flabbergasted. And it was like, oh my God, he's doing dishes. She doesn't actually sound like that. <laughs> she, uh, but that was, I'm like, how do you mean? Like, how can someone not do the dishes? It's, to me, it's just being part of a team. Like, Whereas for me, when I was the, the working parent and my husband was at home, he took on all of the roles of the stay-at-home parent. He did the laundry, he did the dishes, he did the cooking, Cameron. everything. And I got so many people that were, well, well, you have to go home and you have to do all of that sort of stuff because you're the woman. And I'd be like, well, no, my spouse is at home. He's caring for the children. He's taking care of our house. 
there were so many people that genuinely expected me after working 10 to 12 hours because the auto industry is not a nine to five job that expected me to come home and care for my house because I am the woman. I got a lot of it and it oh. was frustrating. I know there's a pile of wishes <laughs> that you haven't done yet, but I know I just, <laughs> I'm going to talk to John about that. But, <laughs> and that's, but that's jokes aside. You and I know that I'm joking and I'm like, realistically, it's still, I think, just, I don't want to say backbone, but a lingering trace that people know, I'm sorry, that people know or expect gender roles. But my grandfather was, up until he passed, uh, he would, he would help with the dishes. I watched him do dishes. So, I mean, he enjoyed cooking, and weirdly enough, he loved wrapping Christmas presents. <laughs> to any of my relatives watching, they know that he wrapped a Christmas present almost better than a timed safe. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. And those are the things that, it never bothered him. I never, like, piped up and said, why don't you let Grandma do that? And apparently, John, my husband, his grandfather knit beautifully. Yeah, and and baked. Um, my grandmother did barn chores. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, a friend of mine, uh, like, it's not uncommon for people to do other <laughs> non-gender things. It's just we are so alarmed. It's not as common as we admit to ourselves. Mm -hmm. I think, for the most part, for, like... I like to believe everybody is open-minded, that everybody is progressive and wants to see better things for all our people. I, aside from the old codger who's driving his beat-up 1956 Ford, <laughs> who tells his wife that she better have the dishes or she'll get the hand, but I mean, how rare is that gentleman? It, gentleman. I was going to say, you might want to use that a little looser. Um, I think there's a lot more issues in that household than just gender roles. For sure. And then, well, like we were saying, we, there's certain circumstances where gender roles are expected and there's certain roles that, roles, not rules, that are blossoming better. Like nursing, more and more men are going into it. And thankfully, because some of the men have a, a gentle side to them that women can learn from and there's probably and at the same time when I do I actually do a little bit of baking myself very little <laughs> but it's I weirdly enough love, enjoy doing laundry uh, the <laughs> My but husband those are things that those are things that we have to just accept that they as a person and question to, for you do you close cupboard doors? Yes. <laughs> they have magnets on them, otherwise the cats get in there. <laughs> so, closing cupboard doors. That's the secret to happiness here on Casual Adult Coffee. <laughs> right. I guess that's our show for this week. This uh, week, we try and keep it a little shorter. If anybody's got in their specific opinions about gender roles and what should be discussed, Feel free to leave comments, and of course, like and subscribe so we get more popularity. Always looking for popularity. <laughs> Thanks so much, and have a great evening. Thanks again. <laughs>